And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Lulu Tarek. I know we played this deck just about a week ago, but we're going to go ahead and bring it back because it got different buffs. Um, and so we wanted to try that, like those out. So we have Young Witch, which we didn't play last time, but it's going to be a 1 2 elusive now. So we got another good support unit being a 1 2. Let's try out 1 2 Young Witch. And then Tarek is now a 3 5. I'm super excited about that. Uh, you know, before, of course, Tarek was the 3-4. Now it has the same body as Shen. Super excited to try out 3-5 Tarek. And then Mountain Sojourners with that plus 2, plus 2 um, all the time. Now it's a 4-5 instead of a 2-5. That seems pretty exciting as well. So let's try out these new support cards. Um, we're going to... We're, and, and, of course, we have Twin Disciplines buff, which Twin Disciplines also great with Tarek, right? You can use, depending on what the board state looks like, you can use the plus three, plus zero, or the plus zero, plus three, either way. And so this is another uh, card that got buffed to try out. Okay, so with like these different changes, I'm gonna try one out of the way in here. Out of the way is, you know, kind of cheeky, but can do some really, really cool stuff. Uh, first, you know, whenever you take a small thing, buff it out to be four, four this round, that four, four would be permanent if you have out of the way. But really, Second, really what's really important is the Tarek, right? Because you can give tough all the time, you know, for the rest of the game with the out of the way with the Tarek. But if you can have your level up Tarek and do this where they can't take damage or die, that's good for the whole rest of the game with the out of the way. Um, so that's like the main thing, reason to play out of the way. But now that we're playing Twin Disciplines, we can have Twin Disciplines be a permanent buff, right? So it could be permanent plus zero, plus three, or plus three, plus zero. Pale Cascade could be a permanent buff. Um, all of those. Young Witch can give permanent plus zero plus one, or sorry, plus one plus zero and quick attack. So yeah, so it seems pretty interesting. So let's try, let's try just one copy of Out of the Way, see if we can do some crazy stuff with that. Uh, but that's going to be, that's going to be kind of the deck there. Play a couple Flower Childs in here. Let's give it a try. All right, so we got Lulu Tarek. We'll go play five games in ring. Yeah, happy to see the support crew getting some buffs. Always love playing some support cards. We're definitely going to be playing more Tarek decks just in general, but going with this one to start with. Not a bad curve. We do have the attack token round three, so we get a Mench of the Stones on the Flower Child round three. Like this and this could go, but I'll send, I'll send the spell back. That's what's up. Get a Tarek. Okay, we got some real good options now. Ooh, Young Witch? Ugh, that hurts. Yuck, yeah, that hurts. So I guess I'm going to go with the goat. And then Mentra Stones on the goat. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Turn Goat into a 5-4. That hurts. I, I was going to, before that, I was going to play the Young Witch and then, you know, then play another, you know, like either Lulu or Mentor the Stones and then we were going to have, you know, like the double support. Oh, they missed the Lurk though, so that didn't die. It didn't die. Okay, well. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Okay, well this isn't too bad for me. We're we're both left with four cards in hand, but I have a mountain goat in play and I've created four gems. So that doesn't sound too bad. All right, just gonna play this Tarek. I bring clarity. Oh, and they missed. This is not going good for them. That is not going good for them. Play the Lulu, we can have leveled up, but then we don't copy over. Way, 
All right, so that's halfway to a Taric level up. More than halfway. And of course, more than more than halfway to a Lulu level up as well. What do you think of blue instead? Did she say purpleify? Yeah, you, you gotta assume they're gonna lurk this time, but I guess you never know. So I don't want to reset the Taric level up. Alright, so now it's at 5. I need to play one of these to have room in my hand to draw the next card. Alright, that'll do. Let's go around again. <laughs> One and O for Lulu Taric. With their lurks missing twice. So they kinda got unlucky with their lurks. Alright, we got some scouts. I'm sure they're gonna have the field promotion card. To go along with Misfortune. I guess. Homecoming good against field promotion. Um, yeah. I don't have the support cards yet, but, like, that's what the whole rest of our deck's supposed to be, right? Ooh, out of the way. So we have... the out-of-the-way Twin Disciplines combo. Y'all want predictions up? Spells cost one less. I guess I can't save Dancing Droplet. I, I feel... Ooh, they don't want to challenge Dancing Droplet. How about that? I guess they want to have Misfortune and play first. Because that's the best possible card. I would love to be play out of the way this round, right? Like, that's... That Sony Suppressor is honestly really hurting me because this is a perfect out-of-the-way opportunity. Yeah, that Sony Suppressor is really going to hurt me. Is rough. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. Next round, we're going to have six plus one, seven. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Nasher. Yeah, you, you asked for the bets, and so I, I uh, put it up. Attack on this fortune, are they? I guess. So. Oh, because that thing turns into a 4 4. Oh. Man. 
Man, the Stony Suppressor. If it wasn't for the Stony Suppressor, we'd be perfectly fine. You know, I'd go like Sonic Wave plus Resonating Strike here. I'd retreat, return this. Like, we'd be perfectly fine, but this Stony Suppressor is dominating. Like, this Stony Suppressor dominated this game. Like, this is this is the card. This is why we lost this game, was, was this card right here. Yeah, Stony won them this game. Or says I just got an update. Was it four? Yep. Maybe the, maybe the Leona. Bug. All right. Well, great Stony Suppressor. That was uh, very, very impressive. All right. Back to some lurkers. I like this opening hand more. I'm worried about the... Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. <laughs> we saw, um, you know, the vulnerable lurker. I, I'm definitely worried about the vulnerable lurker with the flower child. This kind of gives me an option. Obviously, I could have just opened attack with the goat, but now I can open attack with the, or now I can attack with the goat or support, depending on what they do. Uh, but you know, I, I have protection for the Lulu with a few different cards after this. That has to be no. Wow. Okay, well that's just great for me. We just spend three mana to discard a card. So that's wonderful. Happy with that. I had Dancing Droplet just in play right now. Okay, so you're gonna go like this. The real question is if I play the gem first just so I can have the Pale Cascade available with Nightfall. And I think that answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. I would put the gem on the Young Witch if I would do that. Boomagoo, what's up? Comes in says, hey, Hoktai, I've been playing Runeterra for a few weeks now. I've been really appreciating all of your YouTube content. First time checking out the, st the stream. Love the neat feature where you can hover over the cards. Yeah, that's that's a real cool thing about watching... Huh, my phone fell down. That's a real cool thing about watching uh, the stream live is that there is an overlay that allows you to mouse over any of the cards you know, in hand, all that kind of stuff, so you can read them. Um... That's a nice little interaction there. Alright, so they don't have a lurker on top. Well, happy to have you here, Boomagoo. Feel free to, you know, ask questions. You said you've only been playing for a few weeks. Free to ask any questions, anything like that. Everybody in chat is super nice. Okay. So we will. Just go with the Spirit's Refuge. I don't know. Homecoming? Nah, Spirit's Refuge. I wish we knew, like, exactly how much damage... Oh, I guess we, we do know. So their Lurk is 2, so that means it's doing 4 damage. So a Pale Cascade doesn't save it. The thing is, I just I just want, like, this Lifesteal, like, actual Lifesteal Barrier, right? Like, I want that to happen. I guess I can just let the Lulu die and then play new Lulu, but then I don't have Whimsy for these things. Tough call. Tough call. All right. Final answer. I'll take my share. Oh, he likes you. Do you like 
frogs, huh? Once you were annoying. Alright, so Pike is back on top of their deck. So we're hoping they don't have a free attack card. Alright, they don't. Alright, GG's. Two and one. Two no against the Lurkers. Retreat return, doing its thing. Alright, so it looks like we got two decks that we're playing against. <laughs> we're either play against Lurker, we win. Scouts, we lose. Lurkers, we win. Now it's Scouts again. Maybe we can break this habit and win against Scouts as well. I know we already have like a good one too. And so Shadow Assassin kind of fits there on three. But Shadow Assassin isn't... You know, it's a... Well, we get it anyway. <laughs> it's a great, uh, you know, elusive attacker, but then, you know, gets really good card advantage, all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't... Um, doesn't block too well. One health, one health units aren't something I'm, like, super in love with against a bunch of um, challengers and misfortune and stuff like that. All right, so I definitely think that, you know, like that, that's a super fast pass. So they're telling me they have Blinding Assault. So do I want to trade Mountain Goat for Blinding Assault? Or Young Witch for Blinding Assault? I kind of want to trade Young Witch for Blinding Assault, even though we are a support deck. I kind of want to keep Mountain Goat. Let's trade Young Witch. Okay, so that card right there is Blinding Assault. They decided not to trade, but we know that. Moving forward. Who does not know the name Laurent? Oh, I assume everybody knows the name Laurent. So Sharp Side obviously could, could kill e either of these. So four mana, assuming there's, yep, there is the card that was blinding salt that I definitely knew about. Guess I'm just gonna twin disciplines. Well, that's disappointing. Ooh, not scout attacking. Assassin. Nothing gets between me and my mark. All right, finally we got a champion. Night falls. Fortune favors the bold. This is not good. Oh, come on. All right. All right, GG's. So, 0 and 2 against Scouts and 2 and 0 against Lurkers. All right, Draven Ezreal. This will be interesting to see how we can do against Draven Ezreal with some of our newer buffed up cards. 
thing is, like, Retreat Return can be really good against their removal spells. And so I feel like I should keep it, but I need to have, like, I would love to have a Retreat Return with this hand, basically, like, oh, man, yeah, I wish I had Retreat Return. I also wish that we had the uh, tune so I could play the droplet and then pill cascade, but alright, that's That's alright, that's how life goes. Time for the main event. I don't want to like play Terra because then they play like the stun card, and then they get stunned. I don't really want to deal with all that. These droplets don't necessarily look the best. I think Tarek gets cooling striked. Stop bragging if you could back it up. Um, yeah, he, he might. Which is why I have the pill cascade to help with that. They had the stun spider. That's unfortunate. Their deck can be so good against just a bunch of little small units like what we have. This game, I really, really wish I would have kept Retreat Return. That was that's like the big thing that I wish I would have done is kept Retreat Return. In my opener, which I know that like Retreat Return is very good in this matchup. I I should have just kept it, but I needed I needed that like with the Lulu, with that Ravenous block, but. I didn't mulligan Shadow Assassin, did I? No, no, I didn't mulligan Shadow Assassin. I'm so good, I surprised myself. All right, two and three. I don't think the the dancing droplet nerf didn't really affect that game, but I I guess I should I should have kept the. That's the thing, like that that's always been a matchup we've lost, right? Like it's and that ha that didn't change here, 
did have the Tarek that was larger, but we didn't get the Sojourners that was larger. But that's, you know, like these things, one health, one health, two health now. Um, you know, like these little things, like they, they just die so easily to removal spells in that deck. That, you know, Draven Ezreal's an amazing deck with really, really good cheap removal that's very efficient. They have lots of card advantage. That's a tough deck to beat. If, if they have, turn you know, round three Draven that they're, you know, then some treasuring and discarding those and getting more cards and Static Shock getting more cards and Ezreal's over there just creating free Mystic Shots, like it's it's kind of impossible to beat. So um, that's, that's a really tough matchup. The Scout matchup I was a little disappointed in. I think my opponent had better hands than me both times. It had just, just like some real clunky hands in all of those losses, but particularly the scouts ones. You can definitely change the deck though. Like if you're gonna be playing against like a lot of scouts and stuff, then like the the whole like drop because like homecoming's not that you know like that's not a very good card against scouts. And like if if people are like lower to the ground, uh, mostly you, you could definitely change uh, up this deck. And so like the homecoming shadow assassin retreat return dancing droplet is all like one package together. They're all incredibly good together. They work really well. They give you good interaction, stuff like that. The faster the metagame, the worse all that stuff is. That stuff is not good against um, fast decks like right, like Dancing Droplet, Shadow Assassin. Those cards having one health, they're not good against Draven Ezreal, as we saw um, with, with one health. They're very easy to kill and stuff like that. And so this deck can... This deck doesn't... It's not necessary, right? It's like a... It's a good package to help you against like the larger decks. Like all those cards are great against like Dragons, for example. Um, and other challenger type stuff like that with the retreat return, but like the homecoming slowing slowing decks down like that, you know your your thralls and you know that kind of stuff. Um, but all of those can can go, and you can get rid of you can get rid of all twelve of those cards, and so that's another twelve cards that you can instead you could play like a couple copies of like hush and deny, and then just like some some better units to support and. Um, things like that and try to find some different card advantage maybe some deep meditation um you know to help you out like when you're casting multiple spells and things like that so th there's there's different options that we can go with a deck like this um you know things to things to think about uh going forward but anyway there we go that was lulu Tarek. i was pretty i was pretty sad that we didn't get to do too much mountain sojourner stuff i think we only drew mountain sojourners in one game and it, like a game against scouts that we were already really far behind i think if I remember correctly, definitely didn't get to do the out of the way. That's too bad. There was that one time against scouts that, man, if it wasn't for, they had this, that's right. I forgot about our first loss to scouts. The stony suppressor just, just dominated us. That if we didn't have, if they didn't have that stony suppressor, I definitely think we were winning that first game against scouts. Cause we, we were going to have the round three out of the way and it was going to get crazy with that. But, oh, well, anyway, that's going to be it here for Lulu Tarek. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know other kind of decks that you want to see, you know, like the buffed up Young Witch or, you know, like Taric, Mountain Sojourners, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, any other kind of decks that you want to see with those and just other decks in general. Leave those comments. Love to hear about that. Um, yeah, just love those comments. So anyway, that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.